Hey guys, it's Sonia and it's Self Love Sunday. Today we're going to talk about the importance of purging your relationships. Sometimes it's time to let people go. Sometimes when you're trying to change your life, when you're trying to evolve, heal, and grow, some of the people you're surrounding yourself with can be a barrier to that growth, right? Sometimes they're draining you, they're preoccupying you with confusion and nonsense. And so you can't move on as you should, or you can't focus on the things that you really need to focus on that will make you happy as a person that would allow you to grow and that would allow you to heal. So purging your relationships are so important. One of the ways you can do this is by just evaluating the relationship. Sit down and write out your thoughts on this relationship. What do you love about this person? What do you love about the relationship? What do they add to your life? What do you add to theirs? Why are you guys still in a relationship? This is whether it's a romantic relationship or a friendship. Another way to purge your relationship is to take it to your source. Whatever your source is, whoever or whatever you believe in, sit in silence and ask for guidance. Ask that anyone that doesn't belong in your life be removed. Ask that you have the wisdom and the tools and the patience and the understanding to go through this process. Ask that you are led to be quiet when you need to be quiet and speak when you need to speak right? Ask for help. Ask your source for help, whatever or whomever you believe in. That will really help you purge your relationships. It is also important that you ask that you have the heart to deal with what's about to come. Sometimes people just fade away. Sometimes you learn the truth about people and it can be very painful and hard for you to deal with or to, to even fathom. Ask that your heart not be hardened that you learn the lesson of this relationship and that you have the strength to let go and move on, right? Ask not to be vindictive. You don't ever want to do anything to anyone, no matter what, that you don't want back on yourself, right? So ask for wisdom, ask for patience, ask for understanding, ask to understand and know the lesson, and also ask that your heart be protected and that your heart is not hardened during this process. That way you can be open to receive the love and the other relationships and the blessings that you are asking for, okay? I hope this helps. You have a wonderful rest of your evening. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care and please don't forget to love yourself for who you are. Take care. Bye-bye.